What is going on guys, Juno Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video focusing on the two best Town Hall 10 attack strategies right now. All of these attacks are on display by White Temple from our CWL Week 2 matchup. Lost out on percentage on this one, super close. If you're interested in joining White Temple, the information is in the description. First of all guys, in my opinion, the strongest attack strategy at Town Hall 10 is the Lava Loon, but it's not the best attack strategy in my opinion, just because it's a little bit higher skill cap in order to get this to work. There is a bit of a better user friendly strategy which you will see next. The Suicide Hero method tends to be the most popular Lava Loon strategy at the moment. As you can see coming in from the south of the base with the king and the queen taking out two air defense and now the battle blimp which is very easy to merge in to the Lava Loon attack strategy comes in from that eastern side of the base and you can use that to track straight onto specific defenses. In this case we got a wizard tower down and it was easy for them balloons to get right onto the inferno tower as well but you've got to take care of the queen as you can see in the center a rage spell and skeleton spell is enough to keep her distracted and indeed get most of the damage done a lot of the time it'll be enough to take her out but since she was standing over the top of a cannon when the balloons came in to do that damage she indeed went down you do have to be careful at where you're putting the skeleton spell try and wait until she is distracted and preferably that any splash damages around are distracted as well a lot of the time your lava pups coming through can help out in that situation but as you can see plenty of troops left left over in order to get the job done. Plenty for cleanup as well. You can see the minions scattered around at the back of the base alongside the lava pups. That is very important to finish off your lava loon attack and a brilliant display there by White Temple. We will show you another lava loon attack very similar but different in approach but let's move on to the other attack strategy we are talking about in my opinion this is the best strategy right now at town hall 10 and it uses the hog riders it is a lot easier to get this strategy to work with the wall wrecker siege machine instead of the battle blimp now a lot of people in the comments always ask what about if we don't have siege machines you can definitely still get this to work it will be a lot more difficult, don't get me wrong, you'll have to put more troops into your kill squad, maybe even a jump spell at the same time, so it will be more difficult, but when you see how dominant this is, you can still get it to work, absolutely. But what we're doing is coming in for a section of the base, try and take out as much value as you can, it depends what's in the CC, in this case there is a balloon, baby dragon and a dragon that's going to be devastating to hog riders so you need to get that down but notice how there is a huge compact area of defenses in this section of the base as well and that we can actually press through to the enemy queen that is huge as well the king is a bonus if you can get him down because he can still do a lot of damage to the hog riders but with him being a bit slower and doing a bit less damage than the queen it's not quite as pivotal that you take the king down however notice the pathing for hog riders at this point that's what makes it a little bit easier to use than the lava loon and why i think it is the best strategy at town hall 10 it's a little bit more user friendly for you if you can carve a section of the base so that the hogs can move around in one easy fashion you can actually deploy them in relatively a, a massive group you don't really have to do too much in the way of surgical deployment although depending on defenses on the outside of the base you might sprinkle in small amounts of hog riders to take them out and keep their pathing a little bit more central so that you can use the heal spells wisely and as you can see there is just tons of heal spells for the back end and for the hog riders the wall wrecker 
being a tank in itself means that you don't have to commit a lot of spells to it. So let's show you two other examples of these strategies before we wrap up the video. But in my opinion right now, they are the two best strategies. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. What is your favorite strategy? I think it's fantastic that at Town Hall 10, there's actually so much variety right now. You can see the Miners coming in, the Bow Witch, the Valkyrie still, even the Witches in themselves. There is a lot of variety. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And as ever, make sure to leave a like on the video if you do enjoy this one again. With the Lava Loon method, you can see a suicide method here in order to just take out a few defenses. You can use the Battle Blimp in most occasions to actually benefit your Lava Loon. Although you can come in with that Wall Wrecker and take a bigger section of the base. If you're just learning with Lava Loon, that's probably the better option to do. I really want to highlight just the use of that wizard there. The queen was actually walking around, was going to miss that air defense. What a clutch wizard that was in order to take that down. Now, part of your suicide hero method is luring the CC if it's going to be difficult. In that case, a dragon wouldn't have actually done anything to the lava loon. We, we kind of lured it in that essence, but we're going to have to take care of that because obviously with loons, it will be devastating once it is is lured. So we pull it to the corner, we have a poison spell, baby dragon, which obviously could be used for funneling, could be used for cleanup, nice versatile troop, it's often good to have them, and as you can see, takes care of the CC kill. In with that battle blimp, and again, you can use it as a lava hound, and then pop out their maxed level balloons, it really does help out, especially if you can get them right on top of a defense. Obviously at Town Hall 10, you don't have to worry about the Eagle Artillery and things like that. So Inferno Towers, Wizard Towers, anything like that is a good defense to pop them onto. Again, you can see the method of the Skeleton Spell onto the Queen, a brilliant way to take her down. It's not always pivotal that you could take her out. A lot of the time, that's going to be the defense that your opponent tries to protect. The Queen might be central in the base. If you can get away and get good value from the Suicide Hero, method you can take her out on the fly if it means that you can take more loons and a bigger push with the lava loon might be worth off doing that and just using the rage spell and to take her out and alongside the lava loon if that makes sense because the rage spell isn't just going to take out the queen it's going to help them balloons I really like the use of that single balloon as well. Again, if you can hold onto them, you can use them to tank back end wizard towers if you need to, but ultimately do a bit of damage as well. Look at that high HP building, the town hall obviously in the corner, very quickly going to go down because of that balloon and how it does so much damage. So it can be very helpful to hold onto a balloon. Let's move on to the final attack, which is another hog rider attack. And then we will wrap up this video. You can expect every single week that I will be recapping White Temple's CWL Wars. This is their first time they've been in the CWL. We have lost both of them first two matches. The first one, we had them on percent, lost out due to that 99% two-star, super, super close. And then this week, obviously just losing out on percent, but I'm very confident the guys will turn this around and get back into the groove, get into them winning ways. Let's get into the last hog ride attack for this one though the wall wrecker is just amazing for this like i said you don't have to commit a lot of spells but notice the freeze spell on this one you will have seen the single target inferno if that locks onto the wall wrecker it can obviously knock it out and down very quickly and actually you need that wall wrecker to stay up in order to activate and allow you to get into them separate areas and the separate compartments so using the free spell just one spell slot is enough to reset that and look at the value we got out of the top as well popping that queen's ability even if we hadn't have got so much value out of the top there, we've taken out them key things that we talked about. The CC, the Queen, we've carved a section of the base. Them final few defenses were really just a bonus. And then the massive group of Hog Riders coming around. Notice how the ones at the south here coming in just help to kind of snipe off these few defenses and keep the group together. But really, that's what you want. You don't want them splitting up. You want the groups to be together so that you can maximize use of your heal spells 
if you can and you can save a poison spell for the skeleton traps it always is helpful they will be chipping away at the hog riders and obviously try and get some cleanup troops in as well guys wizards actually can be very beneficial but you can use just about anything try your best to get them in as soon as the hog riders have cleared out the defenses in an area goblins if you just have a couple of troop space left over goblins can be very helpful on the outside on them loot style buildings in order to take them down very quickly but that is going to wrap it up for this video i hope you have enjoyed it let me know what you think about them strategies like i said down in the comment section and until next time guys peace out <laughs>